Hey everyone, welcome to the activity diagrams for bank ATM system. So in previous in other videos we have created the use case and other diagrams for bank ATM machine. In this video we will create activity diagram. So first we will come to the part of customer authentication. So we will create the authentication and the activity diagram for customer authentication. So it is the start point of activity diagram. So first the customer insert the card into the ATM machine. Then system ask for the PIN code. When he entered the PIN code if it was a valid. So then it will display a menu. If it was not valid then it will go to the registry section and it will show an error. And he will go back and enter the PIN code. And when it display the menu so it will um, it is fork with giant um, it uh, spread a single three to money threads. So it will show the this menu deposit withdraw transfer balancing query. So it is a giant. It giant more threads into one. So when he click one of them, he will do one of them. These four activities. When he select one, so the customer uh, selected a transaction. Then the customer will select a transaction. So it was authentication. And now we will come to the cash withdrawal activity diagram. The key when he is withdrawing the cash, so we'll create the activity diagram for that. So the start file, then it will come the customer will select withdraw from the menu. When it dis display this menu after authentication, so then the customer come and he would like to withdraw money. So for withdrawing, when he he will uh, the system will show the withdraw options for him. Uh, there are 20, 40, 100 are custom amount or cancel. Uh, these are the fork engine. So after that, he will select um, money or he will enter money. For example, if he enter, would like to select custom amount, he will enter the money. If he would like to select one of these predefined amount, so the net will uh, come and check the balance. Is the balance available or not? If the um, balance was not available it will notify the customer if the balance was available it will perform the transaction and it will dispense the money and it will print a receipt for him if he would like to print a receipt so it will print for him if he didn't want so it will then it will reject the card so the activity diagram will finish so it is the last at the end point of activity diagram now we will come to the deposit check of activity diagram So it is the start point. The customer select deposit check from the menu. When will the menu display this shows to him? He will um, click the deposit. After that, the system asks to deposit check in the deposit slot. Then customer deposit the check. Then system scans the check. System shows the deposited amount. Is amount correct? If the amount was correct, it will customer will select the account checking or saving if the amount was not uh, correct the customer enters the correct amount so after uh, checking or saving account the it will add the balance add to the balance then show success message to the customer then if the customer want to print the receipt he will print otherwise it will check the card and the activity diagram will complete so now we will come to uh, the fund transfer activity diagram in fund transfer first the customer select transfer from the menu then the system asks from him to enter the amount he would like to transfer S other option is that other activity is that the customer uh, enters the amount when he enters the amount it will check the balance is it sufficient or not is the balance available or not if it was available so then it will show the message uh, not enough money if it, it was not available the money if it is available then enter a m number of receivers account okay when he entered the number of receivers account it, that will check the receivers account so if was if it was invalid account number then it will be retreat Retry if it was a valid account then the system will perform transaction and update his account and other activities that show it will show the success message to the customer 
and in the last finally if he would like to print the receipt so we will print the receipt at the otherwise eject the card and the activity diagram is completed it is the last or the end point for the activity diagram so if you have liked the video please subscribe our videos our channel and we have also recorded the videos of our bank ATM system uh, use case diagram class diagram and other diagrams you can find in my channel and also you have the link in the descriptions thanks for watching